Hey everybody, welcome to this month's question of the month. If you've got a question you want me to answer, go to yoganatomy.com forward slash my question and I'll answer it. This is an interesting one from Kim. Recently, my spine has started popping when coming out of deep flexion postures like Garbha Pindasana and Pindasana, and Pindasana, especially as I roll out. It was happening with Ekapada Shirshasana, though it stopped there. I'm able to move fine after, but it is jarring. Any ideas what might be causing it and what I might work on to stop it from happening or whether I should worry? Note, once in a while it happens while twisting to the right especially. Thanks, Kim. Um, so I'm going to start with sounds in the body are normal. Um, spine is a very common place to, you know, like... I'm guessing you're referring to more of that like, oh, you probably won't hear that, but um, that sort of chiropractic adjustment, that kind of pop. Um, you say it's jarring, which that isn't necessarily, if it's more like a clunking, um, you might need to be more mindful of it. If it's the first type, the chiropractic type of pop or the pop that happens in your joints. Uh, there is nothing to worry about there. I'm sure I've answered this before, but we'll do it again. Um, as we move, you know, same thing in the knuckles, right? All of the synovial joints, um, we have fluid inside of them, which is the lubricant. As we move, some of the, the fluid starts to like in a sense break down. Not all of the fluid all at once, but as the fluid breaks down through the movement, um, it starts to change state from liquid into gas. Those gaseous bubbles form and they create um, a pressure inside of the joint. Sometimes when you move to deep range of motion, it's enough pressure to, you know, in a sense, break that gaseous bubble and it collapses back into fluid. That's what that popping is. Um, that's a simple version of that. So if it's just that, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. If it's a repeatable clunkiness that happens at the same place every single time, that is going to need, um, you might want to give that a little bit more investigation. If it's not causing pain, it's probably not a problem. But there could be um, tension from tissues around there that are causing something to slip or, you know, there's lots of reasons for it. Hence, it needs more investigation. So I'm not even clear on whether it's happening in the exact same spot. You're just generally saying um, your spine. So... When you go into deep flexion and you stretch tissues and change the amount of pressure inside of those, you know, and the, and the part that's popping in your spine is not, it's not your disc. It's the zygopophyseal joints on the side or the intervertebral joints on the sides that are popping. Same, same thing in your twist. So by taking it all in one direction and then bringing it back, rolling out of it, is enough to to pop those gaseous bubbles that that's my guess from what i'm what i'm reading here um and twisting is just the same thing okay taking you to the end of range of motion at those joints shouldn't be anything to worry about anybody else got a question send it my way yoganatomy.com forward slash my question <laughs>